Um, so I was going to talk just a little bit about our own program. Yeah, you know, um, just what you, what you feel like you, you would see from the framework of your organization in shifting trends and demographics mm -hmm. and, and just some of the things you guys have been doing to, to address that. Okay. Um, one of the things that, um, so I work at SAM, one of the things that's interesting um, to me, I'm one of the people that came here. I moved here four and a half years ago, so I'm one of those people that came here five years ago. Um, and so what's interesting it, to me coming here is there's this, um, there is a real honest and true like commitment to, some, to celebrating something that's uniquely Seattle. Well, at the same time, there's lots of discussion about um, what Seattle is not. And my husband is from Haiti and he lives, he grew up in Brooklyn and recently I feel like he became a Seattleite because we were at a party and everyone was complaining about what Seattle wasn't. Um, that it's not New York, it doesn't have this, and it doesn't have this. But then when someone else said, you know, well Seattle should be more like, everyone kind of got upset, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so he was like, I'm so tired of people like giving Seattle a hard time. And I never thought that this like, really kind of like urban, 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 gritty dude wasn't gonna say something like that to me. And what's interesting is that um, I feel like that kind of, you know, like that social dynamic that happens, happens a lot in our organizations. There's this real tension between wanting to celebrate the local and if there's anything about that that, that starts to look like too much of something else, it's a problem. But if it doesn't look enough like that something else, that is also a problem. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So when at Sam we started to look at that, like what does that mean to create like that that delicate balance? Um, and and really it just means that um, that in and of itself is kind of a trend. You know that that people are looking for. I don't know if it's a trend or not. Maybe I'm calling it one that's not. But this idea that people are constantly looking for a balance, but sometimes they're not quite sure how to make that happen. And so the expectation is that this organization will do that. And I bring that up because <clears throat> Sam Remix, um, the Picasso exhibition, and um, the Nick Cave Sound Suit Invasions, and the Nick Cave exhibition itself um, are examples of us really looking at that balance. So if you look at Sam Remix, it's one of those programs or projects that, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coin this at some point. Um, it has what I call a covert curriculum, this idea that something is resigning and moving just beneath the surface. Like there, you come in, you think you're partying or whatever, then we invite all these interesting people and they look like they're just partying, but then you end up having this conversation that you thought you weren't going to have. And we thought that it was just going to be a point of entry program for a lot of people that have never been to SAM or never kind of experienced some of these organizations that we've been partnering with. But what we realized is that we have all these people that are coming back and then we're like, well, why wouldn't you? If you liked it, why wouldn't you come back? Why would, what's the whole first time and all you do is stay in the first time? So all these organizations, um, I'll just speak for SAM, we spent a lot of time building this thing that was supposed to be the great bridge, the great divide, you know, kind of, the, the, not great divide, the, bit, the bridge across the great divide, not realizing that people want to keep going back and forth, you know, across that thing. And they may not go through your cycle you're interested in, because, you know, if you looked at early things that we talked about, it was kind of like, the trend was, someone comes and they go to the plane entry program, also known as remix, and then they go to, they go to another program, a lecture, or a performance, or etc. Then they come, then they become a member because this moment of the stall happened. Then all these other little things happen. Then they become board members because they give a ton of money. Right? And so they have this whole, it's, but we have this, uh, this whole linear thing is kind of how, you know, you know, it's like the long tail people talk about in marketing. It's like all these different things, but really, how many of us act that way? You know, the, the reality is that the, there's this moment where you're like, you know, I actually want to get my group on and go dancing, and I don't really want to think that much, you know. So I'm going to keep going back to that at this time. Or I want to go and I want to have an intellectual experience, and I'm going to go to this. But me, I live at the center of all these things. I'm not on your linear trajectory that takes me through your course of action. Um, and so I feel like that's a little of a trend. And what Sam makes it this, that's kind of the thing, that we're seeking a balance. And I think in, that's, that's kind of... I, 
I'm not quite sure if it's the trend or not. I know that in the field, it just in the arts in general, everyone is like teens and young adults. Like, you can live and breathe there and not do anything else, you know? And, and people have forgotten about maintaining these supporters that have been with us for a very long time. And so, um, I would say that's, that's kind of interesting. Picasso is another example of this, this idea of something that's extremely accessible, but when you got there, you were like, oh my goodness, there's so much to look at and think about. And then, you know, when you talk, when you think about Nick Cave, people are like, oh, it's fun and beautiful and oh, pretty and oh my God, they make me feel so good. And then you start to get closer and you start to look at, you know, the undercurrent that there's papal imagery there, there's racist imagery there, but it's based on all these other historical underpinnings. So, the, so I think this trend is like creating these points of entry. I hope that the trend is that, that there's something deeper than this point of entry. So maybe I'm talking about a hopeful possibility of a trend, that people are not just sitting on the surface and scratching beneath it. So maybe 